So if you have a negative mindset, can you really manifest anything except what your current experience already shows you? I mean, if it's true that you manifest what you think about, can you manifest a positive outcome when you're stuck in a negative mindset? Can you manifest good things while you are depressed? And if you suffer with depression, stress and anxiety, if you suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder or bipolar, if you suffer at the hands of any of these things, can you genuinely manifest positive change, a brighter tomorrow, a better outcome for yourself? Folks, you absolutely can. Not only can you, but it is up to you. It is up to you to reclaim the power that you have inadvertently given away. And that, my friend, is what I'm about to show you in this video. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, and welcome to Elevate. My name is Ben. And I love spending this time with you every day. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope it's uplifting for you. I hope it gives you something to think about. And if you are new here, I hope that you'll go and hit the subscribe button and join what we're doing. Join our community here. Reach out to me in the comments below. Let me know where you're from. I love to engage with you folks. Also, if you want to grow at the same time as supporting the channel, there's a link down below for my coaching group. It's $10 a month to join me and a group of others from around the world, as once a week we dive deeply into universal principles. So don't forget to check that out. But today I want to talk with you about something that has tremendous worth, and it's something that, it seems simplistic, but for so many of us, we get, we get so wrapped up with this. Now, we're talking about manifesting positive outcomes when we have a negative mindset. And I want to, I want, from the start, I want to set the stage here. <coughs> Pardon me. When I say a negative mindset, I mean the all-encompassing mindset that that gives. I mean a negative mindset from having a bad day. We've all had those days where otherwise things are okay, but you've just, nah, you've gotten up on the wrong side. And you're just, you're flat and you're not yourself and the spark's not as bright as it normally is. I'm talking about everything in scope from there all the way through to clinically diagnosed depression. I'm talking about rapid cycling, bipolar disorder, post-traumatic stress syndrome. I'm talking about panic attacks, anxiety, debilitating fear and depression that sees you locked up in bed like when I went through a nervous breakdown that kept me in bed for a year and a half almost a decade ago. You see, we are taught that what it is we think about will make itself manifest. We are taught that we have repeating cycles of dysfunction because we keep thinking in the same patterns and that is absolutely true, but boy, oh boy, is there more to the story and when you realize what's coming next, well, my friend, it becomes so easy to reclaim your power. It becomes so easy to have returned to oneself that which one has given away. Ben, what are you talking about? I can hear you asking me now. Here's the rub, ladies and gentlemen. A negative mindset is always tied to a victim mentality, a victim story somewhere. Understand that I'm delivering this in love and in grace and in empathy because, my friend, I've been there. But some of this, it might hurt a little bit. So hang with me and understand my heart as I try to bless you with a new understanding that the negative mindset we have, whether it's just a negative mindset about a job, whether it's a negative mindset about a relationship and a spouse and a partner, whether it's a negative mindset about a season of life, whether it's a negative mindset that has gone on for so long and sustained itself for such a period of time, you've been diagnosed with depression and anxiety and fear disorders. See, all of that is tied to a story that brings hurt. And every time we recount that story, we recount the hurt. We are tied to our victim story. Let me ask you a question. It's a rhetorical question, but I'd like for you to ponder it on the back shelf of your mind as we go through this video today. The question I would like you to think about is this. Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? 
for so many of us, we say, well, I'm Ben, I'm, I'm a counsellor, I'm a coach. No, that's what I do. Okay, I say, I'm Ben, I'm 39 years old, I'm a white male. No, 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 that's your ethnic background, that's your age. Who are you? Well, okay, I'm Ben. I'm Ben who as a young boy saw his mother try and take her own life time and time again. I'm Ben who as a teenager was bullied in my own home and made to feel like a guest and a visitor in my own home for years until it was so uncomfortable I knew that I was an inconvenience and I had to go. No, those are the stories we identify with. Who are you? Well, okay, I'm Ben. I'm Ben who wanted to be a good businessman, a good husband, a good father, and worked very hard to amass these things. No, that's what you did. Who are you? See, what we are is not the thoughts and the experiences that we identify with. Who we truly are, ladies and gentlemen, is the awareness of those things. We are the silent witness to the experience the human is having. You've heard me say it time and time again. We are not humans having a spiritual experience. We are a spirit who is having the experience of a human. So you have come and taken on the form of Ben the human to have all the experiences that Ben the human can have. We are not the experiences, both the good ones and the difficult ones. We are the awareness of the experience. We are the silent witness of the experience. And so for us to be a victim means that we give our power away. But you can't give away that which you don't have. Now you see where this is going. For you to be the victim, for you to have a negative mindset that is tied to a victim story somewhere. Now listen, you might reject this at the start. You might say, Ben, I don't have a victim story. I just, I'm just, I just struggle with this depression. It's always been this way. It's clinically diagnosed. There's no victim about it. I don't want to be a victim. This is just this thing that plagues me and I can't get rid of it and it's so hard. There's part of your victim story. This takes some introspection. This takes some self-awareness and some real deep self-actualization. You've got to go inside of yourself and ask yourself the questions that nobody else will ask you and answer them truthfully. You see, we give away our power. And we develop this negative mindset that's tied to a victim story. The thing is, you can't give away that which you don't have. So for you to give away your power, for you to give away the keys to your happiness, means that you have them in the first place. It's time for us to resume control of those things. It's not happenstance that all of these things go on in life that perpetuate cycles of dysfunction. That is the universe trying so hard to get your attention and saying it's time for you to take back your power. Don't identify as those experiences that have heard. Identify as the awareness, the silent witness who has seen those experiences and who understands that they are painting a beautiful picture. Have you ever seen a painting, an abstract art piece when it's halfway done? Man, is it a mess. You cannot make sense of a thing. When the artist has brushed his final stroke, it's a masterpiece worthy of exhibit in any fine gallery around the world. In the same way, for your life to become the masterpiece that you and I know it will be, know its purpose to be, know it must become, you've got to go through a season where when you look at what's being painted on the canvas, the brush strokes just seem random. They seem so out of place and nothing seems to fit. But you've got to stand in your position of power and say, I am not what's happening in and through and around and because and to me. I'm the awareness of all that's happening. So I can stand here one step removed and have total peace. Because you see, folks, even if you have a negative mindset, you can manifest a better tomorrow. The key of the understanding is found simply in the term a better tomorrow. Isn't that what we all hope for? When we go through seasons that are difficult, when we just want to give up, what we really hope for and what we give up hope on is the hope of a better tomorrow. When we give up, we're not giving up on the dream. We're giving up on the hope 
that tomorrow will be one step closer to it. The hope that tomorrow is our day, the hope that it's going to actually finally happen. We don't give up on the dream. This is why you say, I'm going to give up on this dream, it's too hard. And then three months, six months, three years, five years down the track, you start all over again. The dream never leaves you. The dream never leaves you because you are supposed to live in the fullness of that dream. It's part of your destiny. It's part of the reason your spirit has come. It's part of the experience that you were always supposed to have. And now here we are five years down the track and we've got to start all over again. See, we don't give up on the dream. What we give up on is the hope of a better tomorrow. But for us to experience better means that we must experience tomorrow. And for so many of us, when we think about tomorrow, we think about the fear. We think about the negativity. We think about the hurt. We think about the pain. We think about the dysfunction. We don't think about the chance that tomorrow might be our day. We don't think about that tomorrow might just be our breakthrough. We don't think about tomorrow being the better day. If you want a better day, then look forward to your tomorrow. De-identify from the victim's story and reclaim your power. Understand that you can manifest a good outcome with a negative mindset. Just because you are having an experience to where the mindset is currently negative doesn't mean that you need to get stuck there and identify as that. Just because you are having an experience now where your mindset is negative, just because you're having an experience now of depression, of fear, of anxiety, of panic, just because you are having that experience now doesn't mean it is who you are. You are the silent witness to the experience. The experience will come and go. You keep moving forward and understand that all you have to do is get up for tomorrow. Keep expecting better. Ask for what you want. Believe that you are going to receive it and start choosing to live in that end result. When you have a negative mindset, don't fight it. Allow it to be there. It's part of the experience. It's okay. Just don't identify with it. It's okay for the difficult thoughts to be there. It's okay for the hurt to be there. If you wrestle with it, you just add more energy to it. Allow it to be there. Don't fight it. Just don't identify with it. You're not the hurt. You're the awareness of it. You're the awareness of the experience. Allow the experience. Identify with the awareness. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can do this, you will move speedily forward to manifesting your better tomorrow. No mindset, no depression, no clinical diagnosis, no chemical imbalance will stop you from achieving what is purposed for you. Whatever is meant for you will find its way to you when you can allow the experiences to be there and identify with your true self, the awareness, the spirit who is having the experience. I love you so much, folks. I really hope this has blessed you and given you something to think about and ponder on. Would you think about someone you can share this message with them? Would you go check either of these two out and know that they're going to bless you? Make sure you come and see me again tomorrow. I love you so much. Peace.